Hello, in interest of saving you time, I'm gonna get right into the video, no BS. This video is gonna be about kind of a, a well guide, what to purchase, what not to purchase in the shop with your pay the play diamonds, and let's get right into it. Now, let's start with the novice packages. We'll start here and we'll go down on the left-hand side. Now, the novice packages starting left to right, this one you wanna wait on. This is Legendary Hero Selection Ticket, which means that you can select any character you want uh, in this list of legendaries here. I would wait and not buy this till way later, hundreds and hundreds of dollars later if you're welling out, so that way you can pick the legendary. You never ended up pulling, so you can do things like dispatches or the final tier, or not dispatches, excuse me, but the final tier of the challenges, because there's some legendaries I don't have, so there's one day a week I just can't do it all, just because I've never pulled the legendary, so I would wait to buy this till later for that reason. The Beginner's Hero Special Pack 2, same deal, okay? It's the same thing, except you get to do a Fate Hero Selection Ticket. There is some good characters here. There's, you know, Baraka, Alum, Baelish, Bernavius, Anastasia, Maggie, Mahar, Burnett. I mean, there's some good characters in here. You could probably pull Burnett or something if you didn't pull her in your selection. So I would wait on that one. Now, the ones that are actually, you do, do want to buy, it doesn't matter when you buy them, is this one here. It's 5,000 for 5,000 Zez. Zez is the most difficult currency to get in the game. And uh, a one for one ratio on Zez does an auto buy every single time if you're spending money. Normally, they're going to try to give you like a five to one ratio. They're going to try to make you, if you go here and you do it the full, full mouth breathing well way, right? When you have nothing left to buy and you go to Zez here, look, it's about a five to one ratio. It's 10,000 for, for 2,200 of it. So this is one to one. You want to buy that automatically. The Beginner's Currency Special 2. This is a lot of gold. You could get this. It's probably worth it. I bought them out the way uh, that I did all these packs, but gold is something you can skip on uh, if you're not really welling out consistently. You don't run out gold that quickly. Now, this one's kind of interesting because you get Holy Waters for Blessing, and you also get... Um, a one to five ratio on the Zez as well. It's expensive because it's 3,000 diamonds, so it's basically, you know, 30 bucks or so probably more like 25, I guess. But the Holy Waters are hard to get. I've only ever pulled one Holy Water ever from the game itself. And every single other Holy Water I've purchased or gotten from, you know, like events or things like that. I've never actually got the drops other than one time in the game. So it might be worth it. The level up packs are kind of expensive, um, especially for this one that just gives you a weapon early for the legendary. I might skip on this one, even though it's a two for one ratio on the Zez, you could go for this one if you really are welling out, but it's a two for one for Zez. It's not a mandatory, okay? Level two packs a little bit better because you get a faded weapon at 55, but you're paying 7,000 gems for that privilege, but you also get two Holy Waters. This is really good uh, abrasion. And then you get 2,500 says. Um, this one's probably closer to worth it because you get the Holy Water and the Faded Weapon in it. Now, monthly eggs. Okay, here's the stuff that... Uh, some of these you want to for sure buy every single month, okay? So like the monthly here, uh, you have to buy this every month. Even if you're like free to play, I, you just got to save your diamonds. You have to get this, okay? Because it's 1300 Zez uh, for 500. This is by far the cheapest pack. I would have that one every month. Same deal with this one. This is 2600 for 1000. It's over a two for one in your favor. Then the monthly experience books, you can skip on this one if you just don't want a bunch of books, basically. I, I like getting the monthly books because I use them to level my dispatch heroes and stuff like that. But you don't have to. It's still a decent deal. Now the daily packages, uh, the currency ones are, are really bad. I would just skip over those. The growth ones can be all right if you're starting from the beginning and looking to, this is kind of like buying energy refills in most games that are efficient. You know how you can like sit there and like repurchase you know, energy or levy stones or whatever in most of these games. That's kind of what these are. I, I would recommend getting these. It's expensive to get them every day though, because it's 250, 250. And what these are, these are passes for the, the challenges. So you can do them more. This is 250, 250, 250. Then it gets to 500 for the spirit and 500 for the lunar. You can probably skip on the spirit because you can crunch a lot of your lower uh, starred heroes in as a uh, for enhancing. But if you don't have a lot of spare heroes, you can get this one. I'd probably just skip on the spirit sanctum and enhance them as you get them. Uh, this is too expensive. The lunar though is probably a buy. I mean, if you're trying to well out and go every day, you probably do get the passes. And at that point, if you need more passes, you can go in the store here. You can go the pass and you can get the first pass each day. You can see I bought one of them here. I bought one of them here. I bought two of them here. You can buy some of these passes too for uh, a little bit more affordable of a price after you get this one. So hopefully that answers the daily packages. Now weekly ones, the MU is just not a good deal. Um, it's a five for one, but it gives you MUs. I don't like the five for ones unless you're going full mouth breather. Well, the weekly growth here, um, 
it's hard to not recommend the weekly growth just because holy well, this is a full well, this is well food. So basically if you're, if you are full, full, full well, okay. And you are trying to bless and get into top PVP, or you're trying to get through all the challenges early or something, then you get this. Otherwise you don't get it because the holy waters are really expensive here. Um, we, you skip this one. The weekly currency here is 500 for a thousand. This is basically more well food. It's a two for one. It's just, you can't get enough Zez because you're doing polls or something. That's when you would buy that. The weekly dual packs are kind of okay. You get a five for one in terms of value. Um, well, it's actually, it's a little bit more than five for one. I guess it's more of a, like a, a three for one, a little bit better than a three for one. But the passes themselves end up kind of paying out because what happens is you get the pass. I like this one personally. I buy the, the weekly one where you get like, look at this, 30 passes. Because what's happens, you get a bunch of these passes. And then if you go here, the airship, and obviously you use the passes to do PVP, okay? You do PVP, you win your battles, you get meadows. And what you do with the meadows, which are kind of nice, is I've been saving mine because you go to the power of duel here and look, like I could craft myself 5,000 meadows worth, which is, I mean, I could get 1,500 of these levy stone, I guess, real quick and use that, um, you know, on the event if I need to. So it's nice to get those, those uh, passes. That's probably one of the last things I would do though. Uh, in terms of the weekly, I would be doing the currency first. And then moving on to the monthly, these are where the ones kind of get good. The monthly currency pack, uh, one here is 300 for five. It's a little bit better than a two for one. If you want that one, then currency pack two is garbage. I probably won't bother with that one. And this is gold again. You could probably get gold if you're really thirsty for it, but it's just well food. Then you have a three for five. Um, this one you can buy three times, so you can get 9,000 Zez for 15,000. This is approximately 120, 130 bucks for 15,000, or excuse me, 9,000 Zez. That's a about one of the most bulk Zez offers you can get for a decent deal. I like buying these if I'm welling, but again, it's well food. This is not a um, this is not a mandatory purchase. The mandatory purchases we're going to go over at the very end here. The monthly growth. This is pretty good if again you're going for books. Uh, books kind kind of be a pain in the ass to get because it gets more and more experience or more and more expensive to buy experience passes. So as you go through them, it gets just, you know, hairier and hairier to, to, to get the books basically, because you just got to keep paying more and more for them. So I kind of I kind of like the monthly ones where you just get tons of books, but that's how I got my characters level early. But again, you know, you're spending money for these. So monthly growth two here is probably more important than the experience just because getting polish is very difficult. You can crunch in like green and blues and stuff to get experience towards polish anyway, but it's... Polish is really, once you get the gear, is what bottlenecks you later in the game. If you become a massive well, you'll be bottlenecked by, by abrasion. But if you're not a massive well and you're spending south of 500 bucks, don't, don't bother with this one. Um, you can wait, unless you just really want the Zez, okay? You can wait and get the abrasion as you go. So then there's the fake cores, which, you know, I mean, if you want, you could get like a skin for Xeon or something, I suppose. So now, which ones are the mandatory buys, okay? In my opinion, um, one of the best buys is probably this one where you get Fate Hero Selection. I do think it's it's good. Uh, I would wait though way later in the game to after you spend over $500 or so. I know that sounds like what the hell is $500? But if you're welling, okay, it's a well guy. If you're spending a lot of money, wait till way later because you could pull these characters. This is non-FC version, okay? Then the beginner's uh, growth special, where is it? Uh, this one here that gives you holy waters plus Zez plus books plus abrasion. I like that one. Uh, let's see what other ones here. Then the monthly, all the monthlies. I mean, these ones are mandatory. These are the most mandatory in the game. If you have to spend, and you're free to play, you happen to get 1,500 gems somehow or something, you have to spend it. It's on these two right here, okay? And this one isn't mandatory, but you can get it if you want. And then the weekly currency packs, like these ones here, if you're just trying to get, or excuse me, this one here, and then the monthly pack, the, week, uh, the monthly currency. Where is it? This one and this one, if you're just trying to get Zez. Zez is the most important thing uh, in the game, basically. It gives you everything from gear, the characters, you know, you can buy passes with it. So it's basically the most premium currency there is. And so if you're doing welling and you're wondering what is it I should purchase, you're probably looking to well out on things that give you the most says, uh, or selection tickets, good selection tickets uh, later in the game or holy waters. Those are really like the kind of the expensive. And the other thing is keep in mind the monthly and everything resets. Like it's, you know, if you're watching this video and 16 or 17 days or something and it's about to reset and you only have like one of the best things I did is it came out on the 28th so the monthly I went and bought out the monthly packs and then they reset like the next day or something and I bought them out again and they gave me like a huge 
huge bump up right in the beginning because I was one monthly pack ahead. Same with like the weeklies and everything. But they're they're not mandatory. The game is expensive. Keep in mind, once you pull your Zez, if you're looking for what to do with it, uh, I'm going to show you in recruits here. The string of creations are well food only, meaning I've completed all of them. The game cost me about $2,500 to complete all of them. And it's well food. Uh, if you have thousands and thousands of Zeds, you know, or thousands of thousands of real dollars, feel free and do the, the string. Otherwise, what you want to do is you get your fake core chance increase character, whoever it may be. Then you go and you do premiums and you just play the game with what characters come out of the premiums because you can get everyone in here. Yes, the chances aren't as good for the one you want, but you can get all of them. And over time, you'll collect all the characters you need. You'll get the fake cores you need, etc. cetera. Uh, I think that's probably the most economical way. Plus you get MUs, which are used for enhancement. So I probably do that. And then the characters you don't pull, you then use the strings from. Because otherwise what you're gonna do is be like me where it costs $250 for FC Bathory because I was lucky, like hundred bucks for a shell because I was lucky, $800 for a loom because I was very unlucky. You guys wanna see the drop rate here? Look at this. Look how high the drop rates were by the time I got her. So incredibly unlucky for her, 0.625% chance. FC Rudy was $350. Uh, it, it can be very, very expensive in the strings alone. I would highly recommend not doing the strings unless you are a massive, massive well. Okay, hopefully this information was useful and talking about the packs gave you guys some good information. I purchased all of them. I tried to recommend the ones that were not a scam and, uh, steer you away from the ones that kind of were. If you want more information, you know, no BS straight to the point like this, please subscribe and like as that is what I need back in order to continue making videos. I love you all and please have a good day and go out there and kick ass in this game.